Have you ever pondered why the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints once sanctioned polygamy? The answer lies in the historical context of the Church, a rich tapestry woven with strands of faith, doctrine and societal norms of the 19th century. Polygamy, or plural marriage, was introduced by the Church's founder, Joseph Smith, in the early 1840s. It was a practice that was believed to be a divine commandment and was adopted by many of the Church's early leaders and followers. However, the winds of change began to blow in the late 19th century. Pressured by governmental legislation and societal norms, the Church officially discontinued the practice of polygamy in 1890. Yet the doctrine remains like a shadow from the past, subtly influencing the Church's theology and the perceptions of its members. This is not to say that the Church is defined by this historical practice. Rather, it's an aspect of its past that has shaped its present and will continue to influence its future. This polygamous past has left an indelible imprint on the Church, influencing how Latter-day Saints perceive their faith's history and future. How do contemporary Latter-day Saints feel about their polygamous past? It's a question that prompts a spectrum of responses, revealing the multifaceted perspectives within the community. For some, this past is a source of strength, a testament to their forebears' commitment to their faith, even when it demanded unconventional practices. This group perceives polygamy as an integral part of their religious heritage, a chapter that, though closed, continues to shape their spiritual identity. Yet for others, the polygamous past of the Latter-day Saints is a source of discomfort, even embarrassment. These individuals grapple with a history that seems at odds with contemporary societal norms. Denial, too, is a common reaction as some prefer to distance themselves from this part of their faith's history, focusing instead on its present and future. And then, there are those who confront the past with tears, a poignant reflection of the emotional and spiritual impact of this historical practice. The emotions range from strength to embarrassment, denial and tears, such is the complexity of this historical issue. How does the LDS Church deal with its polygamous past? This question presents a complex issue for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Over time, the LDS Church has intentionally distanced itself from the practice of polygamy. This shift is significant and reflects a broader societal move away from this marital arrangement. However, the doctrine of polygamy surprisingly remains. This enduring doctrine has profound impacts on church members, both emotionally and spiritually. It is like a shadow that lingers, subtly influencing the perceptions and feelings of Latter-day Saints about their faith's history and future. For some, this doctrine is a source of strength, a testament to their faith's resilience. For others, it is a source of discomfort, even embarrassment. It is a reminder of a past they would rather not confront, a chapter they would prefer to close. Yet the practice of polygamy, while discontinued, continues to resonate within the Church. It is a nuanced issue, fraught with emotional and spiritual implications for its members. The LDS Church continues to grapple with its polygamous past, a doctrine that persists and impacts members emotionally and spiritually. Oh God, for my father, as you know, has had many wives and mistresses and many children by them. 